Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. This is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages from March 1st to the 7th, 2019. So guys, if it doesn't resonate, you check your moon, your rising, your sign. If you don't know it, check out the link below. Um, and also, if this doesn't resonate with you, remember these are general readings, or if you want more information about your own situation, get a reading with me. Go to my website, jenniferwalkerathen.com, or check out the link below. All right. What's going on with Capricorn's romantic love life? What's going on with Capricorn's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th, 2018? Okay. So someone here is using their intuition, the high priestess. Something to do with wishes being fulfilled, nine of cups. Something to do with a choice, two of rods. Something to do with a soulmate connection or choice and love. So there is love here and definitely a choice. So it looks like you're having to use your intuition or someone you're dealing with is going to have to use their intuition to fulfill their wishes with a decision. And what sign was it that had to do this? Um, this is correlated exactly to, I think it was Gemini. It was Gemini or it was Leo. So with Gemini or Leo, check one of those friends out. All right, so what's going on with Capricorn's love interest or whoever they're here for? What's their, what's going on with their romantic love life for March 1st to the 7th, 2019? Show the cards you need to see. Show the cards you need to see. So it looks like in, oh, okay, there's two cards here. Interesting. They both want to come out. So for their romantic love life, something's happening where the Wheel of Fortune's turning in their favor. This is the Jupiter card. Wheel of Fortune, uh, for a reconciliation. Okay. Um, something to do with uh, complete emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. And something to do with them not exactly sure where to go with this. Eight of Swords shows that someone's not facing their, their thoughts on this. So let's kind of like go back and forth here and see what's going on. All right. So it looks to me like someone's using your intuition. Because the universe decided the wheel of fortune would turn in someone's favor. Uh, having a reconciliation actually fulfills your wishes. Nine of Cups. Um, something surrounding a choice and something to do with long-term commitment, family with the Ten of Cups. And someone's just not sure what to do here. They're not facing the situation with the soulmate uh, choice and love here. Okay. So it looks like something has come back around. The universe has put things in someone's favor here for reconciliation between you guys. Apparently, this is what reconciliation spread looks like to me. And um, someone's just uncertain. That's why you have this. I don't know if you're uncertain with these two of wands or this person is. Because it's interesting because it looks like you have the choice here. But this person is kind of, I don't know what to do. I don't want to face my thoughts. Now, we could read it like this where you have the choice and this person wants to be completely emotionally happy with the Ten of Cups and have a reconciliation with you, but you're not sure if this fulfills your wishes at this point. Okay, so what brings you together? What brings Capricorn together with their love interest March 1st to the 7th, 2019? Show me the card you need to see. Show me the card you need to see. Okay, we'll take it, Spirit. Something pertaining to you. You bring them together. You bring these guys together. You you yourself and you being patient you being your capricorn self is what's going to bring this together uh possibly you know you're good with finances you know you're good with nurturing you're good with keeping things going you're really good at um you know those tangible things that capricorns are very very good at so whatever that is pertaining to you capricorn you you are going to bring this relationship together so what divides you what divides you what divides you? What divides you in this situation? Something to do with a recognized victory. Hmm. Somebody's ego is in the way. That's kind of dividing you guys romantically. That's interesting. So they, uh, I don't think it's you because you're the one that brings them together. I think it's the other person. They're having some kind of, they want a recognized victory in this somehow. And that is why it's kind of dividing you guys. All right, why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? High Priestess here because somebody had walked away. 
So you have to use your intuition on the situation because in the past, possibly someone walked away and didn't accept an offer. Um, why is the Knight of Cups here? So now your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're going to move into calmer waters with this person. Why is the Two of Rods here? Why is the Two of Rods here? Why is the Two of Rods here? Yeah, something is going to come full circle here for you guys. World card. Something is going to end to start something new. Maybe you guys have a long uh, distance relationship here with the world card. Maybe you really have to travel to get to this person. But something is coming around where it's going to be some kind of ending to start something new. And, and from the reconciliation card, you definitely dealt, dealt with this person before. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? So yeah, there's a new opportunity for love here. And it looks like a potential soulmate connection too. Why is the Karma card here? Why is the Karma card here? Yep, the Karma card here or the reconciliation card is because something is moving in someone's direction here. And the luck is turning in their favor or your favor. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here on the side here? Yeah, movement and love, Knight of Cups. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign person, uh, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Because complete emotional feelings after a, uh, a bad breakup or something to do with someone really being hurt. They're coming out of it. It's a completion. It's a Ten. It's just like the World card. Ending something to start something new. This is just like the Ten of the a Ten of Swords. Okay, it's just very similar, very similar. So, except in the, in, it's more of a happy sense with the world card than the Ten of Swords, because I know someone's going to be like, wait a minute, it's not like the Ten of Swords. Okay, it's not exactly like the Ten of Swords, but yes, the, the world card is like the Ten, a Ten, Ten. It's a completion to start something new. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? So someone is trapped in what do they want to do. They're not facing their thoughts when it comes to this complete emotional fulfillment. They don't know what to do. They, they, they're like, oh crap, um, I, I need to make a choice. I, I don't know. All right, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for what brings them together? Okay, reconciliation. Yep, reconciliation lays right in your lap, Capricorn. So if you want this to happen, you can make it happen, really. You can. It's this is this is uh, going to be up to you. All right. So um, six of sword, six of swords, six of wands here. Why six of wands here? What divides this person? So their ego issues are making something not quite right here with the devil card. Yeah, something to do with controlling their passions. Mhm. Mm Maybe at work. Three of Pentacles. All right, let me get some advice for Capricorn. So give me some advice for Capricorn, some Luna Rising and Venus sign, and what they should do about the romantic love life of the situation, please. Okay. See, I said something about finances, didn't I say? Capricorns are so stable. <laughs> Finance and career are a factor in your romantic love life, and it definitely goes in line with this ego uh victory based thing that i was telling you about that i thought was at work um, yeah for sure that's funny <laughs> all right why is the uh why is finance and career affecting your love life for capricorn mm -hmm. because someone's being patient when it comes to their passions or of course you could be dealing with a an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Um, yeah, but just be patient. Patient in your um, your actions. Be patient with this person because the queens are patient and, and you had Queen of Pentacles. So be patient with this action and you have all the power in your hand, uh, Capricorn, to change the situation or have a reconciliation with this situation. Just be your nurturing, caring, loving self. And this will, will bring things forward for you. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Um, guys, if you like this, if you like, please like and subscribe. And of course, if this doesn't resonate with you or you want more information about your own personal situation, get a, web, uh, get a reading with me. Get a website with me. Yeah, that's what you want, a website. Mm -hmm. mm. It's been a long day. <laughs> 
by going to my website, jenniferwalkeratzen.com, or check out the link below. See, this is all unedited, all unedited. I <laughs> love you guys so much. Have a good week.